My name is Natalia Starkova and I live at 455 Main Street, but actually here I represent the PSIS 217 Parent Teacher Association. And when I looked at the agreement with Cornell, one of the things that it said, it said that it's, it's going to adopt PSS 217. So um, I, will, I would like you to elaborate what it means, and I also would like to see, because so far, whatever I heard here, um, Cornell brings a lot of negative impact on the community. And I think that working with the school is something that can bring like immediately increase the quality of life in the island. So please tell me what I want to do. All right, Diane, I think you're up on this one. This is Diane Levitt, who's our uh, senior director of uh, K through 12. Hi. Um, so I've been here since the 4th of February, about 10 months. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what our commitments are and then a little bit about what we're planning to do. Um, so. It's true that uh, we have committed and are delighted to be deeply engaged with PS IS 217. Um, what's outlined in the lease is um, teacher training and support. Um, STEM, you know, so this is, uh, let me just say, uh, it's included in our educational outreach as the campus develops and touch on all these points. Uh, teacher training and support, STEM education, after school programming, uh, tech events and a career day, and hardware and software programming development. So those are the things we're committed to being involved in helping uh, um, make happen at PSIS 217 as part of our lease agreement in adopting the school. I think our uh, relationship will be deeper than that. Um, so what we've started to do is to think about ways that um, we can help build, particularly at the middle school, curriculum that is aligned with technology, not um, the technology tools, not computers, not stuff we buy, but with curriculum that helps students understand computing and computational thinking. So some of that will be professional development for teachers, and we did a little of that this summer, um, and I, we hope to do much more next summer. Um, some of that will be curriculum that we help um, connect PSIS 217 to um, that can happen at the middle school. Um, and I think we'll be looking at those opportunities together. Yes, and then the second question was, what is the timeline of this? So, it, so is it started, in the future or it's somewhere after 217? No, oh no, it's, it, it, it should be happening now. I meet about monthly with uh, Mrs. Beckman and, um, and her staff. And we have been involved in uh, many, many conversations trying to figure out, that, and you probably know there's not much out there in terms of technology for the classroom. And a lot of it is just um, being developed for the DOE and by the DOE. So uh, finding those opportunities, bringing them in, figuring out what's appropriate for this school, um, what uh, your teachers are comfortable um, putting in the classroom, those things are, um, you know, they take some time. I will say this spring, I'm planning to do a tech career day and uh, I'm hoping to do a middle school hackathon at PSIS 217 which I think will be fun. There's an organization you guys are actually already involved with called the Continental Mathematics League, right? The CML, and they are offering a computer science competition this year for the first time. I think we'll um, try to support that happening at the school. Things will be happening this year. Things happened over the summer. There's a coding class now happening, uh, a, a game design class happening now already at, um, in the middle school based on one period a week based on a um, professional development opportunity that we connected the school to over the summer. Okay, that's all for you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Don Chesley. I live in Island House. Um, I was at the last uh, construction uh, task force meeting at which uh, discussion about the South Point, uh, Southwest Corner was raised. And uh, I have a question for Diane about possibly involving uh, some STEM concepts in uh, answering the question about feasibility of rerouting the bicycle path, which does impinge on the roadway and takes up at 
least 10 feet of space needed for the terms. Uh, my wife and I went and did some uh, root, a very crude survey with tape measures and measured the distances between trees. Now, uh, I'd like to know if you could maybe uh, use your good offices and uh, contemplate the ideas of uh, having kids doing simple measurements with uh, uh, tape measures and so on, making maps, uh, analyzing possible pathways uh, for a bike path that give a lot more room for the turning of the buses, and uh, maybe even leading into things like uh, GIS uh, and uh, Python programming with graphics and uh, uh, you know getting uh, some good projects out of it, I think. I think great minds think alike. I myself agree that there's an incredible story to share with children around the building uh, of this um, campus that happens once in a lifetime, if that. Um, so we do know that it's a very complicated school day these days. Um, teachers are rolling out new curriculum aligned to Common Core. There's a certain amount of testing that puts some pressure on the school day. But I think we are going to look for opportunities to work with students uh, to get them involved in what's going on there. I think it's a great idea. Thank you.